This week is Parshat Zahor. Zahor et Asher Asalach Amalek, remember what Amalek did. 3,000 years ago, when we were leaving Egypt, after the splitting of the sea, a nation came and attacked us from the rear. That nation has come to represent evil in the world, and so we remember them. When you stop to think about it, what's so unique about what happened with Amalek that we have to remember them 3,000 years later? So there's an interesting Gemara. The Gemara in Zvachim, on Dav Kuf Ted Zayin, says, it refers to the beginning of Parshat Yitro. Beginning of Parshat Yitro, which remember is the topic that immediately follows the story of Amalek. It says, Vayishma Yitro, et kol asher asa Hashem, botzi et nei sal meretz mitzrayim. Yitro hears everything that Hashem did when he took the Jewish people out of Egypt and he saddles up his donkey and he brings Moshe's children and he comes to Mount Sinai. Whether he comes before or after is an interesting question, but he comes. So the Gemara in Zvachim says, V'chi ma shama Yitro uvav nitkayer? What caused Yitro to come? It's a very strange question. <laughs> the Pesach says very clearly what Yitro heard. Yitro heard what the Jewish people went through when they got out of Egypt, what God did for them. That's why he came. So why does the Gemara have to ask that question? Even stranger are some of the answers. We'll focus on one. Yeshua says that what Yitro heard was about the battle of Amalek. That's even stranger. That's what Yitro heard? The sea was split. The Egyptians were vanquished. Ten plagues. An entire people leaves Egypt. But what caused Yitro to come was a Malik. That's what he heard. Why is that so unique? So it's interesting. One could understand the Gemara and Zvachim to be a different question. The question is not, what did Yitro hear? The question is, what did Yitro hear that caused him to come? What was it about Melchemet Amalek, according to Rabbi Yeshua? That was what made it unique. That's why Yitro came. Because Amalek introduced something to the world that hadn't been experienced before on quite the same level. At that moment, before Amalek attacked, there was a certain air of certainty. People understood that something had happened. The entire world heard about the exodus from Egypt. Aznamogu kol Yoshvei Kanan. All the Canaanites were trembling even 40 years later in the time of Yoshua, if you listen to the speech that Rachav makes at the beginning of Sefer Yoshua. Then along comes Amalek and introduces doubt. You couldn't doubt that God existed when the sea split. You couldn't doubt that God existed when you saw the Egyptians vanquished, and you couldn't doubt that God existed after ten plagues. But then along comes Amalek and attacks the Jewish people in the rear and makes it clear, this is not a done deal. It's not so clear. So the people are in doubt. And that's what fascinates Yitro. The fact that the people believed that they followed Moshe when everything was clear, when it was understood, when they knew, well, that makes sense. But that the people continued to follow Moshe, that they continued towards Sinai, even after doubt was introduced, the gematria of Amalek is Suffolk, that's who they are? That was amazing. That was something worth taking note of. That's what makes the Jewish people special. We don't always need to know. Sometimes it's not clear. 70 years ago, in the aftermath of the Holocaust, if there was ever a time in the world where there was doubt. It was in 1945. But the Jewish people never gave up. Three years later, we built the state of Israel. That's what we have to remember. Remember what Amalek introduced, and remember that after Amalek, Yitro comes and Harsinai occurs. Even when things aren't clear, even when it seems like God is so distant, the Jewish people believe that there's still something worth following. And that's Zachor at Asher Asal Chamalek. You should have a wonderful Shabbat. Come visit us soon in Yerushalayim. Shabbat Shalom.